Howdy, welcome back to the channel. Uh, I'm coming to you from my children's art table in the basement. Um, why are we in the basement of my house? Today, I wanted to talk about how we got power from the breaker box of our house, which is on the opposite end of the house from the shop, all the way across, outside, across the breezeway and into the shop um i wanted to explain this because i have a lot of thought in it before the electricians ever came to install it i had to pre-run in my mind uh how we were going to run this cable and uh where it was going to go so i wanted to uh talk through it real quick and hopefully by showing you how we did it it gives you some ideas for how you could do it in your house i wasted a lot of brain power on this I might as well share it. So I think this should be pretty handy. So let's start over here at the breaker box. So this is standard breaker box. Oh, I have a partially finished basement. So about half the basement's finished. And for whatever reason, there's like a six inch gap in here between the finished wall and the concrete wall. I don't know why, I don't know if that's standard or not. It was that way when we bought the house. But we have 200 amp service. I wanted to run 100 amp uh, lines, 100 amp service out to the detached pole barn. So what we did, <laughs> there's a ridiculous amount of outlets in this house. It was built right, I like it, don't get me wrong. But uh, we had to rearrange some of these breakers because it's essentially full. Um, so we had to switch from like some of the wide breakers to some of the thin breakers. So you can see how many different breakers are in here. Um, but we did have to switch to the thin breakers. Um, the part that matters here is this big guy right here. We had to stack these up and we fit a 100 amp. Um, it's a BR2100 um, breaker in here. So this breaker is what controls the shop outside. So I close this and this is, it's a 2224 SER XHHW-2 cable uh, and it's aluminum. And so we took this cable and went up the wall and we actually pulled out these two can lights so we could stick our arms up in there and string it across. There's an I-beam that goes across right here. So we just kind of ran it within the I-beam. So it goes through here, through the basement, into the unfinished part of the basement. Um, let me see if I can. So it just kind of runs along this I-beam and then it comes out right here goes across the air conditioning. Um, I had this stapled up. A couple of the staples fell out. Add that to my to-do list. Um, but it runs here. And then it comes down the wall into this box. Why do I have a secondary box here? Well, we moved in this house seven years ago now and I've only had the shop for two years, but I've been welding that whole time. So I needed a way to run my welders. So a long, long time ago, when I had the electricians run this cable, I had this sub panel put here, um, which is another Eaton BR type panel. I'll have this all linked below. I put this here because I still needed to be able to weld, even though I didn't have my shop up yet. So I had um, two outlets that broke off this box. So I had this this wire going from the breaker box over to here. And then for like three years, all I had was this outlet. It was a 220 outlet. I had my air compressor down here in the basement with the air hose running up to the garage. And then this orange wire up here, I had um, going to the garage so I could run my welder. Um, that worked well for a while. And what I was doing was 
preparing for the future because I knew I was going to build a shop, but I wasn't ready to run a wire beyond this side of the basement. So right now we covered from how I got from that side of the house to this side of the house. What have I done since then? Well, this is not even plugged in anymore. And then I do still have the garage outlet on a 30 amp, um, just in case. I don't usually use it. Actually, I haven't used it since we put up the shop, but you never know. And then um, I have a second 100 amp breaker for the main feed going out to the shop. Why? Because it was easy, because this was already hooked into the panel, so all we had to do was hook a 100 amp breaker, and then we came back out with the same 2224 aluminum wire. You'll see it goes up here, um, and over here, and then it goes through that hole. So let's go up to the shop. Let's go up to the garage and see where it comes out. All right, so here we are in the attached garage in the house, and we left off with the wire going through the wall. The wire comes out of the wall and into this LB fitting, and then goes up here, and I'm, I'm not gonna move all these boxes. My garage is full of junk. Um, <clears throat> well, maybe I'll move this one just so you can see. So, comes up behind the fridge. It's got like a 45 behind the fridge. So it comes across the wall and then it has a 45. So it goes straight up and then goes up into the ceiling. And that covers another reason why I wanted to do this. Cause I'm about to insulate this area of the garage it has zero insulation up above it and I'm about to cover all this up. So I wanted to get this video before I did that. So this two inch conduit pipe goes up into the attic. And I'm gonna try to turn my light on, see if I can. Hopefully you can see that that pokes up through the attic. And then goes around and pokes back down through there. It's really hot up there. So when I was told in this past inspection, once it's up in the attic, it doesn't have to be within conduit because it's not exposed. It can't get hit by anything. Um, so where does it come out at? It comes back out of the attic, down, and then has another LB fitting that goes through the wall. So where does it go from there? From there, it goes across the breezeway. Through here and into the shop. All right, so comes across the breezeway into the shop. Comes through the wall right there. It's all covered up by sheetrock now. Comes across around here, down here, and into this box. I believe this is a 100 amp box. It's another Eaton BR. Tried to keep all the same. Um, Here's a tip for you. I used a label maker to label all these. It's much better labeled than the house is. The house, I have no idea what's going where and nothing's labeled. Um, but this is much more organized. <laughs> but it, this, this main cable comes in here to another 100 amp breaker. And then it goes out to all of my outlets within the shop. So there you have it. That's uh, hopefully helpful. That is how I got my main power feed from the breaker box on the house, across the basement, up the wall, through the attic, down the wall, across the breezeway, into the shop, and down to the new breaker panel. Hopefully that's helpful. I spent way too much time 
thinking about that and planning that out and doing all the things. So hopefully it gives you some ideas and it saves you some time. If you liked it, like and subscribe. That way I'm motivated to keep making these videos. Appreciate your time. Hopefully I helped. Holler at me, comment below. We'd love to hear your feedback or what you did or links to other helpful resources. And I'll have links to most of the parts that I described in the description below. So thank you. Have a good one.